Delicious move. What is going on guys, CVM here, welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at the uh, team of the season, 88 rated Jan Umvia. Of course he's available through objectives, it's probably the quote unquote hardest objective to do this week uh, and I know it's Wednesday and there's only like what two days left before this gets reset but um, to be fair I did it like two days ago but uh, I've only now got around to doing the video, 3 star, 3 star, medium, medium, 6 foot I think you have to get uh, four goals in four separate wins in rivals with French League players. I believe that's the objective. Uh, so, I mean, it's not like, unless you're in Division 1 or Division 2, or you literally can't play with French League players for whatever reason, um, it's not difficult to do. It just may take you a few games to get it done. It's even harder then, of course, when you don't need to play rivals. So, for instance, if you've played your full 30 weekend league, and you are ranked 2 and that's where you're happy to stay. You don't need to play it so there is a, um, a lack of motivation problem. But apart from that, I mean if you do pick up this card, a lot of people have looked at it and dismissed it straight away. But with the right chem style, you've got a, a phenomenal CDM. So going back to that very quickly, 6 foot, medium, medium. That's not the best but if you attempt to stay back while attacking, that'll be fine. 6 foot, he could be taller but 6 foot I think should be should be about right. Um, 83 acceleration, 77 sprint speed, so he's going to have a little bit of a, a kick to him. He's not going to feel really slow, but he's not going to feel fast. He should just have enough to be able to keep up with the play. He's got terrible shooting across the board, but that's fine because he's not going to be doing that. His passing is... It, it, it's right in the right areas, right? So the 98 short passing, 93 long passing, and then 85 vision should be good. Uh, he doesn't need crossing. He doesn't need free kicks. His curve is all but irrelevant as well. So I would be... I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't really have a complaint when it comes to his passing. His dribbling, this is where it starts to get a little... I say starts to get. This is where it starts and finishes to get a little bit ropey. Because, yes, he's got okay reactions at 84. It would be much better if they were higher. Of course, it would. Uh, but his composure is, is relatively low at 80. Bear in mind, this is a team of the season card, right? So, you know, if this was... If this was week three of the game, or even month three of the game, you'd be looking at one of the best cards in the game, right? But we are end of June now, and he's got 80 composure. So that's not the best. His agility and balance, I mean, that can be a problem, uh, but I've used CDMs that have terrible agility and balance, and they turn out to be fine, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, decent defensive stats, mid to high 80s, interceptions nearly perfect, and his physicals are very good. He could have better jumping, but we are going to throw a chem style down in just a second here. That's the team I've got him in. If every team I play with looks relatively the same, it's because I'm doing everything on my road to glory these days. So I try and fit these players in where possible. So I've got the Ben Yedder, we threw him in. Uh, I managed to get Nabil Fekir out of one of the upgrade packs, threw him in just to get a bit of chem, and, and there it is. So let's give Umvia a chem style, shall we? Now, I'm going full CDM on this, so I'm not bothered about anything else. For me personally, that passing is more than adequate for the position he'll be playing in. I don't need him to have excellent dribbling skills or to be super agile. What I need him to have is just solid defensive stats, because that's basically going to be his job, right? So, he now has perfect interceptions, 82 heading, 96 marking, 99 stand tackle, and... Uh, 99 slide tackle, which is phenomenal, 91 jumping, 96 strength, and 99 aggression. I mean, that's a lot of 90s compared to the ooh, mid to high 80s that I mentioned a minute ago. And of course, he has 93 stamina in there, which we can't improve, but we don't need to, because that should be enough to keep him running for pretty much all game. Um, what is he, a 94 rated CDM? Wow, 95 rated centre back, uh, to be honest. It, it, you could... You could if you... I'm not going to, but you could if you really wanted to throw him in at centre-back. If you've got a centre-back, that it would be better suited to a CDM position. Uh, Desai or something along those lines. But um, that, my friends, is a pretty decent card considering it's free. So my opponent's team looks like this. Uh, he's got Team of the Season Rodri, a couple of red picks in there. So obviously a foot champs player. Uh, I mean, it's a... It's a weird one, that. A very weird one. I'm not quite sure what lineup this guy's going to play in, but it um, has got some nice players dotted around the place. Here is... Oh, Ben has lost it.
And there he is to intercept it, and uh, it's actually a pass back to the goalkeeper, but this game is a little bit broken, as we know, so it didn't count as a pass back, but read it all the way, followed it all the way, and got the interception right at the last second to prevent any... Okay, I don't know what happened there, but to prevent the... Um, the ball from being played through. It's going to maybe be called upon again here to act as a... Uh, well, I was going to say um, to intercept another one. But he went into the box. I'm, I'm honestly questioning whether he meant to do that. Here's Mvia out to Casemiro. And the ball out to Alexandro. Mvia in the middle. Gives it straight to Gareth Bale. This is um, Nabil Fekir. Back from Casemiro to Mvia. Mvia's first touch was very, very heavy. And that's the ball control coming into play there. So I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, this card is amazing. If he does something wrong, and again there, miscontrol. If he does something wrong, I'm going to show you, right? So that's two mistakes in literally as many seconds. But he does come back there to make a great challenge. And he wins us the ball back. So swings and roundabouts in the first 20 minutes, to be honest. Uh, he's won a, a few challenges, made a few interceptions, as you would expect any CDM to do, regardless of quality. Uh, but... Um, he has made a few mistakes, so just worth mentioning, really, that the first touch on him is not great. Via backtracking, he's been nutmegged. And he was there to block the, the pass, so he had to go for goal, and it's caused the um, the error, really. There's Socrates back into Casemiro, looking to play it back to Socrates. I've got nowhere to go here, and Via plays out to the wing. No real urgency in the way that he did that, though. It was just a case of, oh, I'll do it in my own time. Bale back inside, and it's in the back of the net. It's a great goal. Uh, I think he was expecting the cross, and to be honest, I was going to flick it up and cross it, but I saw Gareth Bale arriving, and we are 1-0 up, and it all came from, again, defending. Uh, winning the ball in defence, bringing it back out, and scoring on the counter. This is Umvia, lifts it straight out. Very nice pass, actually, to Alexandro. Bale wants it up the line. He's going to get it as well. Cross in from Gareth Bale is a good one. Socrates is there, and that's 2-0. And it uh, it came from, again, Umvia at the back. I mean, anyone could have made that pass, and anyone could have made the interception in the first place, but um, he was involved in that goal. It was a very simple goal, and that's why Socrates is actually playing right, attacking mid. Umvia backtracking. Nearly it makes the interception. He's going to get a chance to maybe block a cross or something here, is he? No. Alexandro there to clean things up before that was even a problem. And that marks half time. Well, Mvia made the slide to block the shot. It went over his body, but uh, we have survived yet another day. And here is Mvia, actually. Sends Gareth Bale running. A great ball from him. And that's the uh, the the short passing or even the long passing in, coming into play. Socrates with a header isn't quite good enough. But um, it's, a, it's a great ball to Gareth Bale. Again, the, the short or the long passing, whichever that came under. And the vision. Just proving that the vision is good enough. You know, a lot of people would look at it and go 85 vision. Nah, that's probably not going to be enough. But here he is in the middle again, marking where he needs to be. Blanc was there. It's come off the top of the crossbar. And it's come straight back out into play. I'm not quite sure how that happened. But... Um, I was marking with Mvia, the guy in the middle, who would have been open had I not tracked back with Mvia. Out to Bale. Mvia with a ball up and over the top. It's absolutely inch perfect for Gareth Bale. And he gets there. Very well done. Bale tries to play it across. His reactions let him down then. Gareth Bale couldn't play it across. Great ball from Mvia again, though. Here's Mvia with a, an interception. I mean... It's an interception anyone could have made, really, but uh, he was in the right place at the right time. Can he get the pass off out here to Bale? Bale's been sent round the outside. Here he is. Can't put a ball into the box, but Trent can. That's way too far out, although Socrates has still managed to score. Well, 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 that is exactly why you get yourself a 92-rated prime icon moment, Socrates. Because he does that a lot. Uh, he's in an improbable position and he still manages to hit them with such venom. The goalkeeper gets nowhere near it and it ends up in the back of the net. Benyeda with the interception. This is uh, Mvia. Mvia's ball to Gareth Bale once again. Inch perfect. Can Bale keep it in? He can. Can he put a good cross into the box? I mean, it wouldn't really matter anyway because Men is on as a sub, so... That would have been a, a pretty useless cross unless it went to Socrates. 
And there's Mvia tracking back, and I took control at the very last second, but uh, it was nice football. So 88 rated team of the season, Jan Mvia. What do I think of the card? Uh, not bad, to be honest. Not bad at all. Um, I, I did enjoy it. I won't lie to you. It's a it's a solid little card. I wouldn't say it's, it's brilliant. I just think it's one of those, yeah, that's a decent card. It's solid. You know, if you're on a budget, then yes, get it in there. If you've wasted all your coins on upgrades, then yeah, get it in there. I've played six games so far, as you can see, or maybe you just saw, and we've gone into the verdict side of things. I think that... Um, there's going to be a, a large pool of people who want to use the card and it will get it in their starting lineups. People who've got lucky or maybe unlucky, but they've still managed to pack some Team of the Season cards through the upgrades. Maybe you've done SBC Hour. Maybe you've wasted everything that you own on upgrades for the French League because of how the drop weight is. And you now need a CDM because you've literally sold whoever you had in there to fund the packs. I know people who've done it. Don't worry about it. You're not the only one. Um, Amvia, though, can fill that gap until you can improve that position. And then he can fill the super sub side of that uh, sort of coin when you have him on the bench and you can bring him on to sort of shore up your midfield. Uh, and, and I don't think it's a bad card. Unfortunately, his composure, his reactions and his ball control, they all let him down because his first touch is abysmal. Uh, his reactions can be okay, but generally speaking, are not great. But I think that's down to composure. So a Guardian chem style, in my opinion, would be the chem style to try. I'm not saying that's the chem style to use. I'm saying you need to try it just in case. Because that boosts composure to 85. Ball control to 94. Gets the agility up there. Doesn't touch reactions, but 2 out of 3 ain't bad. So you might actually fix the reactions by fixing the composure. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a solid little card. It's not going to go in people's high-end teams. Of course it's not. But considering it's free and it'll only cost you your time, I definitely think this is worth doing. And if you're watching this video on a Wednesday, you've got ample time to get it done. You've got two full days to win four games of rivals by scoring with French League players in those games. Not easy, especially depending on your division or how good or bad you are at the game, etc., uh, but it's definitely something achievable in two days if you have the time, and I would definitely recommend it uh, if you do that. So, um, without any further ado, I'm going to let you get away uh, and, and maybe go and complete this. So, thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, goodbye.